yeah what up, what up people was good today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make um, a herbal cough syrup and this herbal, herbal cough syrup can kill and not only kill suppress and actually kill totally um any kind of respiratory health problems right or health respiratory problems you know anyhow they have been meant is so something like cough something like sneeze something like you know anything that are related to that which are symptoms of coronavirus this is not a cure for coronavirus right but you know sometimes you might be experiencing uh respiratory problems like coughing like sneezing you know like um some kind of blockage in your throat or your nasal passages and things like that and you will be panicking that maybe you are positive or negative for covid19 and you know as we all we, as we already know that the facilities that the government and all other organizations are using to test people for this coronavirus is not really really sufficient and you know going for the test is can be hard so i'm not saying you should go for tests and i'm not, I'm not uh, you shouldn't go for tests rather i'm not saying you shouldn't go for tests and i'm not saying that um you should halt your your decision to go for tests whenever you are seeing some symptoms right of course you have to make all efforts to go for tests but at times maybe while pending the time that you are able to do your test or waiting for your test result or maybe you just seeing some symptoms of the coronavirus either that or even apart from coronavirus this is also useful for cough as well even when the coronavirus pandemic is not around right this is something that we've been using you know and i had some some cough I think last week or in the last two weeks as well. So I used this again. You know, I've been using this since when I was young. You know, I was born into the family where you know we have a lot of knowledge about herbal medicines. So that aside, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make this herbal cough syrup today. You know, with only three ingredients: with water, salt, and this. This. So this, I want you to see this clearly, this, you can see, I want you to see it clearly. So this is called Uda, you know, in English it has been called, it is called Ethiopian pepper, it is also called Negro pepper, it is called black people's pepper at times, but it is called Negro pepper or Ethiopian pepper, it's not actually pepper, if you eat it, it's not, if you have a bite of it, it's not pepper, it's not spicy, but you can taste, you know. But they call it negro pepper anyway. In Yoruba, they call it erua lamo. And at times, people call it uda. So if you go to the market where they sell herbal, um, herbal items or leaves or herbs, right? You can get uda there. You know, it's very cheap. Maybe for 100 naira or 150 naira. This is what I bought for 100 naira. You can see. So, and I'm going to be using it to make the cough syrup. Um, the first thing to do is that I want to dis disinfect this bottle. Even though I washed this bottle already, I washed it with um, hot water as well. I washed it with soap and water. I washed it with another with hot water as well. So I'm going to wash it again now, just to because you know it's coronavirus time. <laughs> Not everything we can't just be doing uh, everything anyhow that we want, right? So let me get the water. Okay, so this is the this is the hot water now. I'm just going. This, this hot water has nothing to do with what we're trying to do, but it's it is just to disinfect this away from any kind of uh, potential potential germs. The container is folding up already. This thing open. Hey, wow. Well, you know, I think warm water, water is even would have been better in this case because this plastic can't even withstand, can't even withstand the, can't withstand the heat. Okay, so now we go by, um, we're going to be putting this into the container, 
yes it is necessary to use this kind of container you know an enclosed container like this is better for making it an enclosed container like this is better instead of any sort of other thing that you might think of you know using an opening uh, an, a, an open container you know it's, it's not going to put pressure on the solution to make the chemical reaction to car to be carried out fast but with this i wash my hands already so don't mind the the left hand i don't want to take long on this video i've been wanting to say you find me you're coming to my life i'm not supposed to be speaking while doing this Well, I'm, not, I'm still going to consume my thing and I'm going to be the one to drink it so but anyway So, after this, we are going to add salt. Well, before, let me quickly fill this in first. So I filled all the Uda or Negro pepper into the bottle already, everything, everything is here already, right? So what we have to do is to add salt, so we're going to add salt to eat, I don't want to use my, um, okay, I don't want to use my, my seeds to cut it open. I want to use my two points. case here is the salt you can see i don't need much salt actually because when it gets too salty you even you, you wouldn't even be able to consume it because actually it's not a bitter thing it's not bitter you can you can do it you know it's not bitter it's not it's not sour you know I think this is okay and if more is needed we can add uh, just, I, I, just even, I hope this is not even too much so just to spray a little bit of the salt out you know. so you can see this is hot water we are not supposed to use hot water hot water has nothing to do with this we can we're supposed to do it with cold water but you know it's with what is going on around you know, we have to make sure that everything we are doing is clean and disinfected and free of germs so that's why um making sure that the temperature of the water is high as much as possible so this is done okay Let's 
see this. You can see. So this is boiled now. It has been boiled. I mean, <laughs> sorry, this is hot now. Um, this warm water is inside. So um, after doing this this way, what you are to, what we are to do is to um, keep it like this. The negro pepper inside the salt and water in the bottle. You cover it and leave it for um, at least twelve hours. Just leave it for twelve hours, and after twelve hours, you can decantate it. So this is how to decantate. You know, you know how to decantate already, right? You decantate it like this. You can you decantate the water, right? The water is what you have to drink, not the not the negro pepper inside. So you decantate the water like this. And this is what. Okay, 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 okay. I don't want to go back inside to my room to pick any any sort of clothes to hold this. I'm not used to cooking, so it's really really um okay. So you decantate it this way, you see. Only the water that you have to drink. You make sure that the word the name is not that actually went with it. Ah, so this is what you drink, but it is too hot now. I can't actually drink it, so I have to leave it till it is, till it is cool before I drink. Okay, so that's how to make um, the herbal cough syrup that can suppress any kind of cough, even um, uh, it control asthma during asthma attack. If you take this, you know it is going to uh, it, it is going to suppress it to an extent, right? You know. Maybe when if there is not nothing around, you can just do it. It is useful for asthma attacks as well. It's not for curing asthma, you know, but for suppressing an asthma attack. Asthma attack, asthma attack. You know, anyway, you get the point. So the shit is cold now. Cold name Dream. It's cold now. I think I, I added too much salt. The salt was too much, but it's still okay. It's still okay. So you can try it out. Not that you can try it out, you have to do it as well.